Hello again, Barnaby Slater here, spurred on, and this is part two of the top 10 players that Spurs should never have let leave the lane. Number five, Michael Carrick. What a Rolls Royce of a player he was. Sitting in front of Martin Yol's back four, getting the ball like the quarterback, splaying it left and right. And do you remember that game against Arsenal at Highbury where Wenger and Yol nearly had a fight? and Carrick dribbled around four or five players and nearly scored. That would have got us Champions League that year and stopped Lasagna Gate from ever happening. But what a player he was. We got him for three and a half million pounds. Man United came in for him and paid 18.6 million pounds. But I personally would have preferred he'd stayed and still be at Spurs now, pulling the strings, possibly captain material. Number five of the players we should never have sold, Michael Carrick. Number four on the list of players Spurs should never have sold, Rafa van der Vaart. I miss you, Rafa. I also miss you Instagramming pictures of your wife. She was so attractive. What a shame you broke up. Anyway, more importantly, what a player he was for Spurs. Flair player, loved his free kicks, loved doing a trick. The way he played in triangles with Adebayor, Modric and Bale was something to behold under Harry Redknapp. Levy came to him on a transfer deadline day and said, do you want a present? It's Rafa van der Vaart. And he said, yes. And I just remember thinking, God, that is exactly the kind of player Spurs never sign. He was great for us. Obviously his hamstrings were really tight. He always got subbed after 70 minutes because he wasn't fit enough. But should we have let him go back to Germany and go back to Hamburg? I don't think so. I think we could have got another season or two out of him. So number four of the players we should never have sold, Rafa van der Vaart. Number three, Dimitar Berbatov. Do you remember when we got him from Leverkusen for 11 million pounds? We'd heard things we weren't sure. Oh, what a joy to behold. His partnership with Keane was worth, I think, a million goals in a couple of seasons. He was an unbelievable player, so languid, but his touch. Have you ever seen someone at the lane with better touch than Dimitar Berbatov? I don't think so. Let me know in the comment section below, but I don't think so. In the end, he insisted on leaving. We got 30.5 million pounds for him but I wish we'd never let him leave the lane. I wish we'd let him and Kino just keep going for us. Make them play. I know they wanted to leave, they wanted their big moves, but make them play, and they would have played. What a player Berbatov was. I wish he'd never left. Number two, I'm talking about the second player in the whole list who we shouldn't have ever let leave Spurs, and I wish we'd never sold, little Luka Modric. Number 14, Johan Cruyffy. Took the ball off the back forward, a bit like Carrick, but better. The way he could turn out of trouble on the byline or beat a player just with a little movement of his shoulders and find the perfect pass. What a player Luka Modric was. Of course he's now ripping it up at Real Madrid. They didn't think he was good enough in the first season. Did we have any doubts? Of course we didn't. Little Luka, what a player. I'm basically trying to make my hair look like yours as well. I miss you. You are the second highest person on the list of people we should never have sold. Little Luka Modric. And finally, number one, the top rated player who we should never have let leave Spurs, of course, Gareth Bale. Yes, we got 85.3 million pounds for him. And yes, he did brilliant stuff for us, basically carrying us for a season and a half, two seasons. But was there any way maybe we could have just made him stay a couple more years? Because I'm sure we'd be in the Champions League now if we had. It's great to see that he had that great first season at Real Madrid, a little more difficult last season. Here's my dream, guys, I'll be honest with it. We get the new stadium, we get a buyer, he buys us for a billion and a half, big money put into the squad, Bale comes back, sees out the end of his career at Spurs. That's where you heard it first. Gareth Bale, number one of our list of players Spurs should never have sold. Honourable mention, Jurgen Klinsmann, he got sold for 1.4 million to Bayern after his first season with us. But what a legend, I can't put him in the list because he's just too much of a legend, came back and saved us. So that is the top 10 players we should never have sold. That is 195 million pounds worth of talent that we've sold over the years, who I think we never should have. What do you think? Do you agree, disagree? Are there players I've missed off? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Press on that subscribe link and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Let me know what you think course, to Toby Alderweireld from Atletico Madrid via Southampton. He's been on his honeymoon. He wants to come to